Hey, what's going on guys? B Flatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about Temtem's weekly reset, first weekly reset in 1.0. So I wanted to first of all say that all the weekly videos and most likely every video from a sharpened official YouTube channel is going to be getting combined and absorbed into the B Flatten channel. So everybody who uh, was getting Temtem updates on that channel, I think from uh, here on forward, we're going to be going into this channel, the main channel, and just have one for both Borderlands and Temtem. So without further ado, it's going to be weekly reset for Luma week this week. So if you want to have an increased odds for Luma, the board's going to be changing any second. For our Quish Fishers out there, Quish Earth is going to be this week. We're going to be checking the board as soon as it changes over. But it should be Quish Earth this week and then Quish Fire next week. And then we're, after this, we're going to be checking the free temp board to see what it is. The board hasn't switched over yet, but it should be switching over any second now. Usually around uh, one minute after or so. And it looks like it is high dotty with a 85% uh, spawn ratio and four times Luma rate. And a 75% spawn ratio for Brock Golem and a four times Luma rate. So I am definitely going to be going after Brock Goblin this week because I really want a Luma version of that. I Dotty, I'm not really concerned about, but uh, the current fee is going to be 4,300 Pan Suns and nine side cards is what is going to be obtained. Let's go ahead and check out what free time week is so we can see what uh, weekly rewards we have. Keep in mind that free time has been decreased from 400 to 200. You get one feather for every single release that you do. And you also get increased Pan Sun rewards as well for all of your releases due to the cut from 400 down to 200. Let's go ahead and check this out and see what we get. I'm hoping for dies. I'm hoping for wishy well coins. Uh, hot fixes would be nice. Anything that's not uh, basic and simple rewards. There's a Luma Volgon right there. That's very pretty. And we have a hardening DNA strand, three spirits favors, four wishy well coins. That's really good. And uh, telomere hot fix box times two. So that's going to be random hot fixes. This is a really good week for free tem. So I highly suggest getting into free tem, even if it's just the 200. Uh, I think that's going to be everything for our week so far, though. I hope uh, you guys get everything that you want for Luma week. Hi, Dottie and Brock Olam. Uh, Koish Fishers, uh, good luck with your rewards, and Free Temers, good luck with your rewards as well, and all of your layers in advance as well. We'll see you guys next week, and also for the rest of this week, we're going to be focusing on Temtem Guides. I will see you guys there. If you need any other guides, feel free to check out the rest of my videos, give them likes, give them uh, comments on them. It really does help me out a lot to push uh, more Temtem content out, and I will see you guys in the next one. My name is B Flatten, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Laters.